I'm Carmine Gallo with Dr. Mike Massimino. He is a former NASA astronaut, flew two missions to repair the Hubble Space Telescope, Columbia University professor, best-selling author, wrote a new book called Moonshot, which I'm very excited about. Uh, but I think the title that resonates with me the most from your book, Mike, is Italian-American Kid from a Working-Class Neighborhood. <laughs> Are you one of those two, Carmine? On the uh, on the West Coast, you think with a name like Carmine, I wouldn't have some similar experiences. Carmine Gallo is is pretty hardcore. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, you know, it sure is. Uh, but you also have a recur. You've been a recurring character on The Big Bang Theory. You were in one of the funniest episodes of The Big Bang Theory, at least one of the, my most memorable because I remember the scene. You mm -hmm. were the guy who nicknamed. Howard Wallowitz, Fruit Loops. The plan for this morning is to go over the... Sorry, my phone. What is that? Is that Rocket Man? Yeah, my ringtone. Kind of my favorite song, Rocket Man. <laughs> Howard, your Fruit Loops are getting soggy! <laughs> Not now! Who's that? My mom, sorry. No problem, Fruit Loops. <laughs> You played it so straight. You were so good. Just thinking about that makes me laugh because it was so funny. Yeah, it was. I wouldn't say it was really me. It was the writer. You know, they, they the writers are. I became friends with uh, with the whole team. They're just great people, really smart, funny people, and they came up with the lines. I I delivered them, but it was based on a story uh, that I had told them when I first met them, and they were asking for ideas. They wanted to do something about nicknames. I said you can't. You can't give yourself your own nickname. You're asking for trouble. So there was a guy who came in uh, to the astronaut office a year, years after I was there. And uh, he, uh, someone asked him if he had a nickname. And the guy said, yeah, I, 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 want to, I don't have a nickname, but I, I want a nickname. And I want, to be called, uh, I want to be called Luke Skywalker. This is what this guy says. And, uh, and this guy says, well, yeah, I know I, I like Star Wars. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I want to be called Skywalker. That would be my dream. I've always wanted to be called like Luke Skywalker. And so this Navy guy, this Navy pilot is like, you like Star Wars, huh? He's like, oh, very much. I love Star Wars. It's okay. Luke Skywalker, I don't, I don't think that's right. Your name is Jar Jar Binks. So this dude was named, not even Jar Jar Binks, we just called him Binks. I'm not even sure what his real name is anymore. Binks was everywhere. Like, you know, and we were doing our underwater training. You'd have to schedule up there. And it was Binks on the flight line. It was Binks. No one knew what this guy's name was anymore. Which was the idea of having a nickname, right? But it wasn't one that he wanted. So I told him that story, and I think that's how they got the inspiration. I that see. Oh, was wants to be called Rocket Man, and we end up Rocket Man, which would have been cool. Instead, free loops. But once you get one and you get stuck with it, hopefully it's one that you're okay with.